Welcome everyone. My name is Hope Daniels and it is my privilege and pleasure on the behalf of Trinity Gardens Church of Christ to welcome you here today on Zoom. We are delighted to have you with us to participate and share in our baby dedication. Again, welcome. I'll be moving forward to the purpose. The baby dedication seeks to challenge parents to commit themselves to raising their children in a godly manner and ask for God's blessing upon the child. It asks God's parents got grandparents ministers and the church congregation to commit to helping the family by providing a spiritual community to assist in the development of the child the idea of dedicating a child to the lord can certainly be found in the bible deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 69 write these commandments that i've given you today on your heart get them inside of you and then get them inside your children talk about them whenever you are sitting at home or walking in the street to talk about them from time to time when you get up in the morning to when you fall into the bed at night. Tie them on your hands and foreheads as a reminder. Inscribe them on the doorpost of your home and on your gate, city gate. Next, we'll be moving forward to the prayer and the scripture by Aaron and Caden Lindsay. May I ask that we all bow our heads and close our eyes? Dear Father, Thank you for your blessing with such precious gifts. I pray that you surround these children with good things so that they may grow in your will and your ways. I pray for the parents and the families, fill them with wisdom so that they may train the babies in the way that they should go so that even when they are old, they will not depart from it. In Jesus name, amen. Psalms 127 verse three through five. Don't you see that children are God's best gift? The fruit of the womb is generously legacy. Like a warrior's fistful of arrows are the children of vigorous youth. Oh, how blessed are you parents with your quivers full of children. Your enemies don't stand a chance against you. You will sweep them right off your doorstep. Next, we will have the viewing of the garden angels. Lord, I thank you for making me who I am. Lord, I thank you, my God, for helping me take a stand. Lord, I thank you, Lord, oh, you're holding me with your hands in the image of you. Lord, I thank you, Lord, oh yeah, for making me who I am, and I thank you, oh, for helping me take my stand, and I thank you, Lord, you're molding me with your hand, you Next, I'll be doing a roll call of the family. First family we have up is Grayson Burris. Hello, my name is Victoria. This is Grayson. This is Grayson's father, DeCourtney, and Grayson's aunt, Nicole, and Grayson's grandmother, Jacqueline. Thank you. Next, we have Taylor Amir Keys. Taylor Amir Keys to introduce their family. Hello, family. But this is. I'm Taylor's mom. Amani. This is us. This is our grandmother. This is another grandmother. We have Taylor's godfather. Omar, can you point your finger real quick? Oh, yeah. They got Charles. That's another godfather. Charles, you point, put your hand up. And Auntie Maya sitting right here. That's another godmother. And Lisa is on there as well, but I think her screen is off. So that's and I'm sorry, and Pat right here. I'm sorry, my apology. And grandpa in the kitchen cooking. And the great grandparents. Sorry. We have a great grandmother right here, and we have a great grandpa right there. Oh, everybody, we got a full house. Thank y'all. Hi, everyone. This is Jamila Lacey's mom and her the rest of her family. We have her grandparents, uh, Kelly and Linda, and Jerry, her godparents, brother, or Omar and Kiki, and her dad, Rob. Say hi, Lacey. Hi. 
Thank you. Next, we have Raylan Rosas. Hello, I'm Raphael. This is Raylan. Uh, Tristan, her mom, we're here today with her grandmother Tara. Also on screen with us is Mama, uh, grandmother Pamela, and her godfather Max. Thank you. Last, we have Abria Carol Sam. Hello, everyone. It's Jessica, Abria's mom. We have her dad, James, here. We have grandmother, grandfather, godmom. And her brother Andrew is there. And of course, you see Abria. And off screen, we have her godfather, Patrick. Thank you all. Next, we will be moving into the dedication by Brother Timothy Daniels. Hello, everyone. I got to tell you that you guys look great. And I just want to say, this on behalf of the church, thank you for participating in this. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, I tell you, those young looking grandmothers and grandfathers back there, the godparents, the uncles, the aunties, this is great. And we, I just want to say a thank you. Your families are beautiful. Your babies are very, very beautiful and precious. And we just thank you for participating in this. And to our church family who is still on, we thank you for staying on as we dedicate these beautiful angels back to the God who gave them. You know, when Hannah in the book of 1 Samuel desperately wanted a child, she made a promise to God. She said, Father, if you give me this baby, if you give them to me, it's your decision. I promise with every fiber of my being, Father, that I will present that baby back to you. I'll give him back to you. When Mary and Joseph had Jesus, one of the first things they did was they took Jesus into the temple, into the presence of God. The book of Luke says that when Jesus would go into communities, he told the people, bring your children to me, bring your babies to me. And so those of you who are part of this dedication today, you're doing what Hannah promised. You're doing what Joseph and Mary did, and you're doing what Jesus asked. If I give you a child, give that child back to me, and he'll bless not only you, but that child will bless people that you never dreamed of. And so what I would like to do right now, I would like to give what we call charges. And the first charge I would like to give is to the parents, to you wonderful parents who God used to bring these children into the world. And I'm gonna go through a, ser a series of statements and at the end, I'll ask you to simply say, I will at the very end. And I'll prompt you to say that. The Bible says that you should not, you should bring your child up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And I'm going to ask you as part of a series of questions, do you promise with every fiber of your being to bring your church your child up into the nurture and the admonition of the Lord? Do you promise to God to teach them, to love them, to laugh with them, to lift them, to discipline them in a way that they can see God through you? And do you promise to, to the best of your ability to be a model of what Jesus looks like. Because the first picture of God to a child is his father and his mother. Those of you who are parents, if you promise to do all those things that I said, if you can affirm by saying, I will. I will. I will. Thank you. I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you. I think I heard some babies say, I will. That's all right. I'm starting early. And now to the godparents. Do we have any godparents in? We had some godparents in. To our godparents. Oh, God bless you. I love you guys. You godparents. As godparents, your role is to stand with the parents in their role as they try to bring those children up. And so I want to ask you, and at the end, I will ask you to affirm with our will. 
do you do you promise to pray for the parents to always ask God to lift up the parents to be there for those parents to some of you give them a break with the children sometimes to always pray for them to support them to give them a shoulder so that you will always listen to them and stand as a village with the parents and a special relationship as God parents to those children. If you God parents will promise to do that, will you say, I will? I will. I will. I will. I will. Great, great, great. And I tell you, I just, uh, uh, I don't know how many God mothers we have. I see some God mothers, but you guys who are God fathers, I want to say thank you too for that. Uh, our children need strong men as God fathers along with the God mothers. And then a charge to the grandparents, these young and grandparents, just raise your hand or give me, I'm in the house, you grandparents. Boy, look at those grandparents. I tell you, God bless you. Listen, I wanna say thank you because the faith that is gonna be passed to your grandchild, you passed it to your children. Timothy talked about the faith and Paul saw it that was passed from his grandmother to his mother and to him. And to you grand, you grandparents, I believe in the transfer principle that faith must be transferred from one generation to another. That must be a transfer of faith, a transfer of knowledge, a transfer of wisdom. And I wanna say thank you to you grandparents because without you, there would be no grandchildren. And so I ask you if you will affirm the question I will ask you. Do you promise to lend your experience, your advice, your knowledge, your wisdom, and all that God has put in you do you promise to be available to pour that into your children and also into your grandchildren as they are growing up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord? Grandparents, if you promise to do that, if you promise to pray for them, to always lift them up, I'm going to throw in, grab the grandchildren every once in a while. Some of you are already doing that. <laughs> grab it every once in a while. But if you promise to be there as grandparents, if you will affirm by saying, I will, will you please do that right now? I will. I will. I will. God bless will. you. God bless you. And then lastly to the church family, and they're not on the Zoom conference, but I'm going to by faith make this choice too. Those of you who are still on, who are friends and family and believers here for the church at Trinity Garden, it literally takes a village. That is a biblical concept. Many of us grew up at a time when we were raised not just by our parents, but by everybody in the neighborhood. And that neighborhood now is that church family and friends and aunts and neighbors. And so as a church, do you promise to stand as a hedge around these parents and the grandparents and the godparents and these grandchildren and these children as they are raised in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Those of you who are part of the Trinity Gardens community, if you do, you can come in uh, on Facebook and say, I will, I will. I will. I think, amen, I will. thank you, amen. Thank you, we'll now be moving into the closing prayer. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Did I hear great grand? I heard great grand. Oh, God is good. God is good. To that fourth generation, give him a hand. God is good. God is good. Right now, we're going to pray. And everybody that's on, I ask that you, what a great time. Give you, give all yourselves a hand. Just give everybody, give everybody a hand. This is, the angels are rejoicing. The angels are rejoicing. Let's pray right now. Let's pray. Just bow with me. Father, thank you. For these beautiful, beautiful angels. Father, thank you for the gift of life. Life is so precious. And so we thank you for the preciousness of life. Father, we just ask that as these beautiful young boys and girls, young babies are growing up, that first of all, Father, protect them. Protect them. There's a lot in this world. And we need God, and we thank you for 
being there. They have, these babies have your DNA stamped in their spiritual genes. So thank you for these babies. They are created in your image. And Father, thank you for the parents. Father, we know that parents, parenting doesn't happen by accident. You chose these parents for these children. You chose them because you know that these parents have exactly what these children need. We pray that the parents will keep you in their lives and in the family and always look to you knowing where their help comes from. So Father, give the mothers and the fathers good health, long lives, so they can see the children grow up and see grandchildren and to the next generation. Father, thank you for the God parents who stepped up and say, I want to stand by you and with you as you raise this child in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. A special thank you to the grandparents and the great grandparents who years ago, as they walked with God and began their families, you've blessed them for their faithfulness. And now they're seeing the third generation and even the fourth generation. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you for their values and their knowledge and their wisdom. And thank you above all for their faith, which is now passed down to the next generation. So Father, right now, we ask for your anointed covering on every household, every family. And one day when we all get to heaven, all families will be united again. Even in this life, you will say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And Father, we know that the best is yet to come. In the name of Jesus, let everyone say amen. Thank amen. you all. Thank you all.